Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm coming to you from Germany. I'm also coming to you from the car. It's not my car, I wish. It's a hire car and actually lucked out with this one because there is a train strike here in Germany. So I booked the cheapest hire car as usual and then there was a bit of a shortage, so lots of the cars had already been taken. So they only had electric cars left, which weren't ideal for driving long distances to rural areas. So they also had this one, which is rather fancy. So I'm very pleased with this. So I thought whilst we have the car and it's a cosy, drizzly afternoon, well, it's cosy in here. It's not cosy out there, but <laughs> it's a drizzly afternoon. I thought I'd show you the bits that I got from the shops. I went shopping in Lübeck, which is one of my favorite places to go shopping. I have vlogged it before, so I will leave that vlog in the description box so you can have a look around Lübeck, see what it's like. It's also the home of Niederegger Marzipan. So I swung by there and got myself some nice little nibbles. Let me just show you. This has been half devoured, by the way. They also do a really stunning marzipan coffee, marzipan latte, which is lovely. In the UK, marzipan is not particularly popular. And I think that that is due to the marzipan in the UK that we are kind of introduced to being kind of like the ready roll stuff that you get on Christmas cake, which is usually combined with quite thick white icing on a Christmas cake, which a lot of people aren't really fans of anyway. And I feel like if you haven't tried like proper marzipan, where it's really almondy and delicious and amazing, you are missing out. So let's not write off marzipan if you haven't tried this kind. But here I have, I don't even know what you call this. This was three times the size before. It's kind of like, it's almost like a cookie slash scone down here. And then it has this crumble topping with icing. It's kind of stuck on with icing. And then a cherry in the middle, like a nice cherry jam going on in the middle. It is absolutely stunning. It is like one of the nicest, let me just break a bit so you can see. It's one of the nicest combinations ever. <laughs> and yeah, really, really delicious. So I'm gonna have a little nibble on this. And I thought I would show you the bits that I got from the sales. Now I haven't gone mad at all. I'm really trying to be very restrained at this time of year. And oh, let's just have a little nibble, shall we? Mm. It's the crunch that makes it so nice. That is absolutely stunning. I also got some of these. <laughs> Let me show you. They come in this cute little cone like that. And these are just like nice little, I'm not even sure what you call these, but they're delicious. They're like biscuity. They're just like really good. I'm not sure what you call those. They're like crunchy, but soft in the middle. They're amazing as well. Right, let me pop all this away and then I'll show you all the bits that I picked up in the sales. I wasn't going to stick a vlog on today, but I looked at my calendar and I saw that the 31st was a Sunday. So yeah, I mean, don't get too excited. <laughs> it's just a few bits and bobs, but as we have the car as well, I would love to have a car, mostly for this reason. I would just love to be able to sit in the car and film videos. It feels so nice to do this. So does that justify getting a car in 2024? Am I going to become somebody that has a car? just so I can sit in the retail park and film videos. I don't think it justifies it, does it? But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And also let me know, actually, if um, you can recommend a car that is suitable for the city and is easy to drive. I say that, I'm actually quite a good driver, I think. I'm just not very confident at driving. So, yeah, maybe like an automatic would probably be the vibe, I think, in London for me. But yeah, let me know any suggestions of vehicles, just in case I decide to get a car to film videos in. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> so, first of all, we have been back to Sostrena Grena all over the world, and we have one more of these. So I wanted to get my extra one, and they are now half price. So I was very pleased with that. It's looking at around, I think it's about four euros for one of these now, which is really good. And these are the 
Christmas ornament storage boxes. You put those things together inside so you can keep your ornaments nicely organized. And then I also picked up some beautiful tissue paper. I'm just gonna pop this away for next year. So all the Christmas bits are on sale at the moment in lots of the shops. Lots of them are half price. And I always like a bit of nice tissue paper in my wrapping box. So I picked up some of that too. Also in Flying Tiger, they had Christmas bits being reduced, but they were literally just putting the reductions on them at the time that I popped in there. And they weren't sure, some things were kind of Christmas, so they were being marked up as half price, or marked down to half price, I should say. And other bits were gonna be kept for next year. So the staff in there were slightly confused. So some bits had already gone into the sale and other bits they weren't sure whether that was being put back for next year. I think a lot of the stores are doing that now rather than just slashing the costs and selling it all on really cheaply. I think a lot more shops are keeping stock back then putting it in storage and then selling it on next year. I've noticed that a lot of the shops have the same stock for the past few years now. Have you noticed that too? So there we go. But ribbon, well, this ribbon was half price. And this is just really classic velvet ribbon. And this was two euros down to one euro for a roll. So I went for this really nice kind of gold color. And then I also went for the green. And they also had red too, but I wasn't feeling the red for some reason. And the measurement on this, it's five meters. So you get quite a lot as well. So I thought that was really good. So worth popping into Flying Tiger if you have one near to you and you want to get some cheap Christmas gift wrap or cheap Christmas stocking fillers and that sort of thing. But as I say, it is only the festive stuff or the Christmas stuff that they are reducing that's not being put back out next year. I also went to my happy place, <laughs> which is the Euro Shop. I love the Euro Shop and the bargains you can get in there it's incredible. They have different stock to Poundland in the UK. Oh, my hat's in here. So Nespresso sent this over. This is from Fusalp, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. And it is this beautiful wool hat. It's so nice to wear. It's not too tight. I think I've said this to you before, but I don't like hats when they're too tight on my head. And this one is just comfy and really, really warm with it being wool. And I love this colour. It's this beautiful kind of caramel coffee colour. And it's actually dyed from coffee, which I think is so clever. So how fab is that? Oh, listen to that rain. I kind of hope you can hear it, but I also hope it's not distracting or too noisy because I'm just vlogging on my iPhone. So hopefully it's okay. But yeah, I love that. And I've been really enjoying my Nespresso's as well, my coffees. So big thank you to them for that. Right, let me show you the bits that I got in my happy place in the Euro shop. They have some real bargains at this time of year, especially when they've reduced everything. I mean, stuff in there is so cheap anyway, but I got a couple of these table runners. I thought these would be really nice for parties and for New Year's Eve. And they're this really kind of glittery fabric these were, I think a euro down to, it says 75 cents on here, but I think they were actually just 50 cents at the till, which is so cheap. And you get quite a long um, piece here. It's just under two meters. So you can just use this as a table runner. I guess you could use this as gift wrap as well, or for like wrapping around um, flowers and things like that. But yeah, as you can see, it's just really glittery and really effective. I'm gonna get covered in glitter, I've realized. But yeah, I thought that was great. And then also they have this one here, which kind of has that kind of 3D effect going on. And again, this was down to just 50 cents, which I thought was a total bargain. And look at that. I mean, that is so effective, isn't it? If you're just wanting to jazz up a table. And again, you could use that for gift wrap really really nice and it's nice and strong as well so yeah what a bargain might um pop that out for new year's eve and then we have a couple of decorations oh <laughs> talking of new year's eve these are traditional here they're little ladybugs or ladybirds and i think they're good luck for new year's eve i think that was just like a euro or two for those little chocolate ladybirds to bring some good luck for the new year 
Now this decoration, I couldn't believe that this was only uh, two euros to start with. So this was reduced to one euro. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't think it's necessary with the iPhone. <laughs> I'm so used to my other camera. Um, but yes, I just thought that was so nice the way the, maybe it will focus if I do that. There we go. Um, yeah, the way the metal is kind of soft like that and rounded, I thought it looked like quite an expensive piece. And with the wood at the base as well, imagine that in like necks, that would cost, I think a pretty penny in there, wouldn't it? You can see you through the, um, we have Mr. Carrington through the square window today. <laughs> Anyone who remembers play school. Um, but yeah, that is pretty good going, isn't it? For a quid, I thought that was great. So there we are, I thought that was very, very pretty. And then I also picked up this hanging decoration. This was down to just 50 cents as well. And it's this wooden star. And then we have a little pine cone and some bells. And then like a glittery star, it's just the wrong way around on there. Total bargain. Most of the shelves were pretty bare. So I think people had been into store and, you know, cleaned up in there with all of those fantastic bits. Cause they just do some really nice stuff in there as well. Some of it is really lovely quality and like looks nice, you know? So it's worth a little look if ever you are near to a Euro shop, that's for sure. Definitely my happy place. And then in H&M, oh, actually, whilst I was in Lübeck, I picked up a bottle of red wine. This is the Lübecker Rotspon. I want to show you the design on the front because these buildings are what Lübeck is famous for. So it is a city surrounded by a river, and you've got these really intricate looking like bridges with turrets on them. And then you've got the, I think it's seven spires in Lubeck. So you've got these incredible, incredible buildings. Do head over to my Instagram where I'll be posting some photographs that I've taken whilst being here. And also I will link the Lubeck vlog in the um, description box as well. So, so yeah, am I in focus? I've heard mixed reviews about these phones. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm in focus or whether, I don't know. Anyway, I hope I am. Or maybe it's better if I'm not. Maybe a soft focus on me would be preferable these days. So in H&M, I picked up a couple of sale bargains as well. Not too much. I just picked up some socks. Cause they had some nice quality looking socks here. Just this kind of, what color is that? I don't know, it's like an off-white or, yeah, off-white or cream, I guess. Um, those were just down to 199. And then I also picked up this sweatshirt and it's in this ribbed fabric. And I love comfy sweatshirts like this. And this one was down to 8.99 euros from 25.99. So a real nice little saving on there. And it's just a classic kind of navy blue, but with this nice soft, ribbed fabric and I think is that everything I got in there yeah I've just got some oh I did get some treats as well which I will show you let me get this bag out of the way so whilst I was in Lubeck it would be rude not to pop into Niederegger and get some marzipan treats and all of their Christmas ones were down to half price as well so I picked up some Niederegger um, Frohlichweinischen, so I can't really say this very well, but that is Happy Christmas um, Praline. Oh my goodness, is this like eggnog? I, oh, it's Eye Punch. Yeah, this is one of my favourite drinks. Um, it's like eggnog in chocolate. That is going to be absolutely stunning. Cannot wait to eat that. Then we also have the Pieces of Tree Cake. I won't try to pronounce that, but they look like really nice little bites. Really lovely stuff. I love the way all this is packaged as well. And then we have this Merry Christmas marzipan with milk chocolate. So just the traditional marzipan in here with milk chocolate around, around the edge or around it. And then I also picked up this really sweet little bag, this little Christmas bag. I love the packaging of this. How gorgeous is that with the little moon? Oh, the moon's been incredible here, by the way. It was in the UK, I think. Yeah, it was um, 
early morning um, when I flew out the moon was beautiful as well but yeah we've had like a full moon haven't we so I don't know if you caught it recently but it looks fab it looks just like that and yeah just really cute little illustration but in here we have a nice um, variety of dark and milk chocolate marzipans as well to enjoy with a coffee they will be stunning so those are all the bits that I've got to show you I'm off for a browse in the charity shop here and then yeah I'll be back next Sunday with my first video of 2024 so I'll really look forward to seeing you then but I hope you're having a nice relax if you're getting some time off work if you're managing to get a bit of time to yourself I hope you are enjoying it thank you so much for all of your Christmas wishes and your get well wishes I'm feeling a lot better now that cold is well and truly on its way out thankfully but yeah thank you so much for all of the Christmas wishes I haven't got around to hearting or responding to those just yet but I have been looking through them and it's been really lovely reading them and seeing what you've all been up to as well but yeah I'll look forward to catching up with you on the other side in 2024 next Sunday with my first video of the year we will just be easing into the new year together I'll probably do a bit of organizing and a bit of this and a bit of that you know me it'll be vloggy vlogs to start things off so yeah I look forward to catching up with you then and whether you're in or out whether you're celebrating this evening or not I'm wishing you a very happy new year so thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon bye